All right, so um, yesterday I got in a little scrap with uh, John Morrow here. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger uh, so that we can read what uh, what was said. Now, and I want to I want to be clear about what is going on here um, because I don't want to elevate John Morrow to. A position he doesn't deserve um, I made a video saying that activism matters and I wanted you people to tell me what you wanted to do and I I, I was saying that I think that it is a good plan to uh, um, somehow unite and um, seek more uh, support for nuclear amongst people who are in government right I'm not talking about bureaucrats per se, but I'm talking about people who have legislative power. So um, yeah, and then 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 I got this answer, and I just want to tell you why this is wrong. So he says uneducated activists do more harm than good, and many times provide an air of incredibility to credible policies, issues, and science where and how that education is received is also of great concern, especially if it is from non-credible sources. In my opinion, take it for what it's worth, quality is much better than quantity at this point. And here's the thing. So as, as far as the nuclear industry is concerned, I agree, quality over quantity, any time, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I am so optimistic about terrestrial energy, for instance, is if you look at how they are moving forward and which names they can attach to their their operation, I mean, amongst which is, for instance, former Energy Secretary Ernie Muniz, for instance, I mean, you can see that they are going for quality, hands down. They have... Uh, one of the strongest advisory boards. They have uh, a, a very solid plan and they are moving forward in a great way. So that's absolutely quality over quantity. But here's the thing, uh, and, and I've been talking about this with friends of mine like Raleigh Partanen and uh, Eric Meyer and Alex Canera and, you know, Ken and Brian, for instance. So the thing is, there is no quantity to speak of when we are talking about environmental activism that is aimed at educating people about nuclear energy. The quantity is like, if there's a hundred people on this planet at this moment actively doing what we are doing, well, let's say it's 200. That's optimistic. <laughs> I don't believe there's 200 people in the world actively, actively seeking to educate the people about the merits of nuclear energy and why it can play a big role in our future. So, um, yeah, and, and the funny thing is he talks about credibility. Um, I, 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 I asked him whether he was unconvinced about climate change, and I have to be honest, that was a part or trick of mine. I mean... I know that he is a climate change denier. I know I have known this for over, I believe, six years, seven years now. I mean, he was one of the very first people I debated with in LinkedIn, together with Alexander Kamara. And so I said, I don't believe you have anything credible to say either. So don't bother me trying to convince me next time. And he replies, that's okay, Tease. No, not, ma not many people give you any credibility either. Well, here's my answer. I never asked for any credibility. I mean, the credibility issue is something that will be given to you or won't be given to you. I mean, you gain credibility by the stuff that you do. And so this means that the only way people could say what I have done is credible is when they look at my documentaries or, or, or look at my books and say, well... What, what has been written, what has been made here or what has been written down here makes sense. And I think that uh, uh, using this information, using these lines of thought will help us 
further the nuclear cause. So I will leave it up to you to say whether I'm credible or not. Uh, I, I won't claim any credibility. So there's that. But it, what I want to stress is don't be discouraged. Don't say, well, I'm uneducated or I don't have that much uh, experience and um, therefore I mustn't do anything. That's the wrong answer. That's the wrong answer. We need to you know, outgrow the elitist atmosphere of the nuclear industry and we have to become more inclusive. I know these are, these are progressive talking points that many people hate, but it's true. I mean, uh, if we want to bring about a stronger push for nuclear energy, apart from the technology being correct and the industry operating with excellence and understanding that they're part of this world, it also needs support from the outside. It also need, needs grassroots support. So uh, don't be discouraged. You know, seek out these uh, organizations who are already working on these issues like Generation Atomic. They just did a great thing. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, because this is out, this is awesome. I don't know if, if, if Eric posted it or Generation Atomic posted it. Let's see. We know how to do this. This here. Generation Atomic volunteers are testifying at an NRC hearing to relicense Seabrook plant in New Hampshire right now. Go get them, guys. So, um, yeah. So, so this is important. This is important stuff. We need people engaged in these kinds of things. Now, Generation Atomic volunteers... You know, there are some of them who are probably very well educated and they probably have the, you know, the, the stuff on board they need to do this thing, to do this kind of thing. You can become that as well. I don't think I am at that level, you know, testifying or something like that. I, I can do presentations and I can show you numbers and I, but but in my case I am it's more about the math that's behind the numbers in order to show you how to formulate certain opinions but um, this is important people we need people reaching out writing op-eds you know uh, creating environmental groups who want to talk to representatives you know, because I saw this picture uh, at this Ocasio uh, Cortez woman. I'm I'm sorry, I don't I don't remember her name. She's I'm Dutch. It's not really, you know. I I know her because of the Green Deal, and I know her because a lot of people are talking about her. Do I think this is warranted? Might be. I don't know. I don't know her well enough. But in any case, I saw pictures of her and her office. And, and there were all these kids sitting on the floor and arguing with this with with this senator uh, to to make something happen. And the senator, even though the the policy that might come out of it is not good, what I want to stress is that this kind of activism works. So please let me know if you're planning on doing something like this or if you want to do something like this. I would really like to help you get in touch with people who are more experienced with this kind of activism. I'm not the guy to 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 coach you in these things, but I can I do know a lot of people who actually do the activism and can help you become more successful and perhaps that's this means that you need to join them or this means that you need to do something separate but here's the thing we need more people engaged and don't be discouraged by people saying oh we need more quality we need quality over quantity because that's bullshit in my opinion i mean uh, yeah sure there's some uh, right now we have a thorium movement you know it's it's ages old and I don't fault uh, Gordon McDowell for it uh, because he's one of the best YouTube guys in the nuclear sphere. And, you know, he he, he did the, the thorium thing for a long time. And now many people say, oh, yes, it's all thorium that we need. Uh, and I do understand that those people are perhaps misled and they or, or not misled. They, they, they are 
they don't understand that 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 thorium itself is not going to help us just yet it's going to be a bigger part of the nuclear world in the future in the distant future we need uh, contemporary nuclear now we need to build molten salt reactors as soon as we can but at this moment i take whatever i can get and thorium people are pro-nuclear people and and we can coax them into Listen, generation two and generation three reactors which exist now are good and fine and excellent. And the people who work there are great. So we need you to jump on board. So that's what I wanted to let, uh, that's what I wanted to, to tell you. Um, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching. Have a, have a great day. Bye-bye.